Okay, so the first thing we do is remove our CO2 absorber. We push this green lever towards the back of the machine. Perfect. Next, we can remove our condenser, our water trap assembly here. Again, there's a green lever up under here, moves towards the back of the machine, and that's removed. We'll put that aside. The next step is we remove the breathing system from the back right to the very front. There's a handle on the back of the bellows here. Yep, hold on to that. Press the green button here in and the lever comes out and the whole breathing system is removed. Okay, I'm going to remove the airflow sensor assembly. There's a green lever underneath here. I'm going to pull that out and remove our airflow sensor assembly. So I'm going to remove this, um, disassemble this now. The thumb screw here was unscrewed and we remove those pieces. Our airflow sensors <coughs> come out, so this is lifted up out of the holder and they just slide out. Perfect. Next we're going to remove this assembly which has our unidirectional valves in it. To do that, we twist it and remove it. We need to remove our unidirectional valves by pressing in our locking mechanism here and lifting up this orange piece. And our unidirectional valves just lift up and out of place. So that's it for that. It doesn't get uh, disassembled any further. We'll continue to disassemble this. Uh, we have um, a ramp which goes over our APL valve. So to remove this, we push it in from this side and then the feet lift out last and our APL valve is removed up there. Now there's no need to remove that hard black plastic off the silicon. It's very thin silicon there and that will be torn in the process so there's no need to disassemble that any further. Now we can proceed to disassemble the bellows up here. So to do that we twist, twist and push the cover anti-clockwise and that just lifts off. Perfect. To remove the bellows, we push in the spring mechanism on either side. We push that in and the bellows pop off. This valve is the pop-off valve or the high pressure valve which releases at 40 centimeters of water. Again, there's no need to remove the black plastic from the silicon. Our bellows assembly is disassembled into four pieces. So we stretch that off there. We remove the white case off the top. And underneath here, inside here, is a white ring that we remove as well. Two more pieces here. We've got this which is removed and that comes off. Noting that the arrows are pointing up for when it's reassembled. Now we can flip this over. We have three thumb screws here that are removed or loosened before this assembly can come off. I'll send it, I can send them out. At 
this stage or in any stage, there's never a need to remove any O rings. Um, that'll just damage the O rings and cause further leaks. The last piece is to remove this manifold here simply by lifting it up and out. Before it's sent to CSB for cleaning, this must be in the vent position so it opens up some lumens inside so the water and detergent can get in and clean it. So now we'll pull apart the condenser or our um, water trap. Uh, first thing I do is remove this thumb screw here. That lifts up and it doesn't get disassembled any further than that. Next we can remove this piece from this piece. You can see the um, the connection there. So we remove that either side and it pops off. So nothing else is required there. On this one we can remove our metal case by sliding it out either side. And lastly, the water trap is removed from the silicon ring that holds it into place. Okay. Oh.